With a whole home solution from Pack Solar, you can take your reliance off the grid. Solar power is the most cost effective way to reduce your energy bill and live a sustainable lifestyle. Obviously, I, I don't think that you would have had to remind anyone of the importance of the game, but it looked in the first quarter in particular defensively and even offensively, the ball was zipping around a little bit. What, what, at what point did you sense that things started to get out of hand a little bit on, on your end and they started to get back into it? Oh, well, clearly our third quarter was really poor, but I had an inkling before that, like even in the first half, uh, missing defensive assignments, uh, scout stuff, and that to me just indicates the team's not locked in. Um, for whatever reason, you know, I feel like our lead up, we're pretty, you know, we played them a couple of weeks ago, we're pretty clear on what we want to accomplish. Um, we just, we're unable to. Brian, I'll just go straight to you. Did, what did you sense out on the floor there in terms of whether it was, I, I don't know, whether it was environment, there was no fans, whether it was communication, what, what did you see out there that went wrong? Uh, I think it's very much just on us. Um, as a playing group, we just weren't locked in as well as we should have been. Um, we had a clear game plan that I thought we prepped really well and then we just failed to execute it. We, you know, we gave up a bunch of backdoor layups and offensive rebounds and things that we you know, made a focus of, they seemed to get and, and really, especially in that third quarter, um, they turned up defensively and, and we were a bit passive and then we'd go up there and, and, and give them what they wanted and, and dig ourselves a hole. So it was just, uh, it was just, you know, on the players not being uh, not being locked in. Yeah, Simon. I mean, they're obviously they obviously play big, and, and you guys, you know, a lot of the times you have Mitch at, at the four there. I think points in the paint were forty six to thirty six. How, how do you try and navigate that defensively when they are playing the the two big guys a lot of the time and really trying to pound it inside and then out? Yeah, I mean, it's a battle of two different styles, isn't it? And, you know, I guess that's why we've seen the, a variance in the results. Um, you know, who, who gains the ascendancy? Um, it's really important for us to make sure we play with pace, keep our spacing wide, and get the, the, the bigger guys trying to guard Creaky. Now, Creaky did a great job tonight, and I thought he got his. But, yeah, I think as a group, um, we certainly, from an offensive standpoint, weren't assertive. Um, and we play them catch up from, you know, pretty much halfway through the third quarter on. Um, you know, all their guys seem to be getting in on the on the on it tonight. You know, they, they, they seem to find all sorts of avenues to, to score. Um, and we were really just trying to plug holes for a lot of that. I know maybe sometimes it's hard to really judge like straight away when the game just finished, but when you talk about those types of things and, and the urgency perhaps and just not being locked in, clearly with what's on the line that would be concerning. So do you think I mean what do you, what do you put that down to? Do you think it is maybe a, a a tight thing as well with the guys understanding what's on the line. What do you put it down to? No, it looked like a little bit of tightness out there tonight. Um, you know, some some pretty wayward shooting, um, some guys second guessing. Uh, there was a couple of things that would would lead to that. But you know, it's kind of been an issue for us throughout the course of the year. Is just continuity in our in our um, continuity in our uh, in our roster, and you know, like just understanding your role, knowing your role, and fulfilling it and you know, we just got to be better. Um, we just got to be better at what we do. Yeah, Ryan, I, I feel like I've asked Simon this almost every single week or every game about the continuity and trying to get a feel for each other on the floor. But you're out there and you've been one of the guys that hasn't been able to get a really long run at it. So what are you sensing out there, and probably more defensively, when the communication's maybe not there, there is breakdowns? How difficult has that been? Uh, it's had its challenges, but it's by no means you know, an excuse for us. Um, you know, the coaching staff does a great job with, with scout and preparing us and and training that, uh, you know, we cover all these things and, and we should be all on the same page. Um, yes, we've had guys coming in and out and, um, you know, through a multitude of, of issues with, with injury and, and Cam leaving for, you know, the birth of his second child, it's this season you know it's whoever adjusts most to and best to the changing circumstance and and you know us getting out of melbourne and, you know on a couple of hours notice like it's 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 what team you know is able to accept those challenges and and find a way to lock in at the important times and and come together when we need to and um yeah for whatever reason tonight we just we just weren't on that same page
Simon, I'll just ask this because it's impossible to keep track of things that what people can and can't do down here. But what, what does the travel look like for the next couple of days for you, I know, with these two games on, on the road? Obviously, it's an extended road trip. And then the second part of that with Cam, obviously, you guys and everyone's excited for him about what's happening there. But do you have any idea whether he's going to be able to even get back to you guys? Uh, no, I don't um, in relation to Cam. Um, I mean... Who knows what's going to be the case? Uh, in you know, this is a constantly moving situation in COVID. Um, you know, he had to do what he had to do, and fully support and 100 percent behind him. Um, I was actually surprised he even made it to our last game, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he, he felt compelled to. He wanted to fly the flag for us, and so it was great for him. But he, he's now um, right in, in amongst it, so he's got, he's got to, he's going to have a baby any moment. Um, so he needs to go take care of his family and we'll just take care of, you know, whatever the outcome is, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, you know, with regards to our travel, uh, you know, I, I can't explain um, why the, all these games were thrown at the back end of the season. Um, we've been put on the road for these ones um, in regards to, you know, having to come back and play Brisbane at the very end of the season while everyone else is done. Um, you know, that's a league in question for the league. But, yeah, I mean, we, we're going to be up and at the airport tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. to get to ourselves to Auckland. And, and just last one for me, then I'll let someone have else have a crack. Um, as far as the finals, I know it doesn't need to be reminded what's at stake, but how do you broach that topic? If you spoke about perhaps there was some tightness tonight, so how do you try and get the guys relaxed, feeling good um, about, uh, you know, what they've done in the past and what they need to do in these last two games? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a difficult one. Like, we, we talk about, you know, when we're good, we watch video of ourselves and, and, and the, the things we do well. Um, obviously, we critique the things we don't do well and we try to go put it into practice at, at, at training and make sure that we get better at it. Um, you know, this is one where, you know, we just got to simplify it, make, thing, make guys, put them in positions where they do things that they like to do and they do them well. And uh, I feel like... Against Brisbane, we've, we've found ourselves in those positions. I, I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch the video. I thought we missed some pretty makeable shots tonight. Obviously, we left a lot of free throws at the, at the, at, on, the, on the floor. Um, you know, those are things that, you know, professionals are paid to do. And, you know, sometimes they don't drop. So you've got to find other ways to win. And, that, and that's where we can't give up our, you know, we can't blow coverages. We can't give up uh, easy buckets in transition. We've got to do better with our press. You know, there's other things that we need to do better on. Because there are nights where the shot, the ball just doesn't go in. And, and I feel like that tonight was a little bit like that. But, um, you know, again, you talk about that tightness. Yeah, we've got to put guys in position where they feel good. Just a couple quickly for me, Simon, if I can. Um, Kiefer came off, looked like he might have been holding his knee there late. Do you expect him to be OK? I have no idea what, what happened there. But he came back on the floor afterwards. He said he felt OK. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened, whether it was a knee-on-knee -knee contact. Um, I haven't spoken to the physio or medical staff. Um, so we'll find out. And obviously, anything with that, you know, it's all about how, how do you wake up and how do you recover the next day. So we don't have a lot of time to recover. Um, so, yeah, we'll find out later. Can I just get your thoughts on, the, on now playing the breakers over there as well? It's a, it's a real tricky game for you because they're going to be throwing everything at trying to finish their season on a high in front of their, their home fans. Yeah. No, of course they will, and um, we'd expect nothing less. It's it's probably more about us at this point in time, and you know we've gone through ebbs and flows throughout the course of the year, and um, we've found a way to get ourselves back on track and find answers, and uh, you know we'll be venturing down to Auckland, endeavouring to do the same thing.